the almost eigenvector. That's one of the stranger animals we're going to calculate. But we're forced to do something to come up with a second linearly independent solution. For example, if you look at the linear system defined by the matrix 1, 2, minus 2, 5. You have a characteristic equation that factors into a perfect square. And you only have one eigenvalue. Well, it's repeated twice, but 3 is the only solution to that equation. We can use 3 to create an eigenvector. But after that, we can't perform a second independent eigenvector. So we do is next best thing. We make a substitute, an almost eigenvector. The eigenvector is a vector that gets killed by the adjusted matrix. We'll send another vector to the eigenvector. We'll try to find a vector that doesn't get killed by the adjusted matrix, but gets sent to the vector that gets killed. Or another way to look at it is two applications of the adjusted matrix would kill this other vector. So you set the eigenvector on the right-hand side of that equation, and you try to find a vector that the adjusted matrix sends to the eigenvector. It's actually not too hard, because you still have the property of the adjusted matrix that the rows are multiples of each other. You just need to choose a constant so that your dot product will give you the 1, 1 of the eigenvector. In this case, it's 0, 1 half, the almost eigenvector. So you perform two independent solutions, the traditional straight line solution, and then a full line times the e to the 3t. You only have one eigenvalue. You only have one exponential you can use. The second solution looks strange, but it's certainly linearly independent from the first. And you can physically differentiate this. Remember to execute the product rule and show that it satisfies that differential equation. Formally, we can show that any such construction also satisfies the first order linear system. So it gives us a general solution built out of these two solutions. And if we use the initial conditions and specify some other initial condition in the plane, like minus 3, 1, well, we can find the right combination of k1 and k2 so that we go through the point minus 3, 1. Notice how you can read the x of t and y of t individual from the solution still by reading the top line and the bottom line. But you have to be careful how you read these. For example, the bottom line is minus 3 e to the 3t, 8t e to the 3t, and 4 e to the 3t. That's a total of minus 3 plus 4, 1 plus 8t e to the 3t.